Hey, happy Friday. Welcome back to the funnies. You know, we're halfway through October right now, so that means soon we're going to be messing with time again. In just three weeks, most of us will have to set our chronological devices back one hour. Proponents say that this event gives us an extra hour, which of course we need to reset all of our clocks, timers, watches, and sundials. It also means it'll start to get dark shortly after lunch. Now, I personally hate this tradition, and I plan to deal with it by setting my clocks back three minutes every day, starting today. And at the end of three weeks, I will have set my clocks back one hour, and it won't be such a shock. I know, genius. But before you need to concern yourself with adjusting your clocks, we have Halloween to celebrate. The big decision at Halloween is deciding on your costume. You know, do you want to be scary like a monster or a congressman? Do you want to be funny like a clown? Do you want to be sexy, which is not normally found among trick-or-treaters, but it's a big hit at private parties? This year, I decided on a simple costume. I'm going to wear a warm jacket, a blue face mask, and a pair of delightful mittens. Call me Bernie Sanders and give me my fair share of your candy. But until then, please enjoy the Friday Funnies. A 146-year-old church in the United Kingdom is changing its name. The Victorian Church in Bournemouth has been named St. Michael's since its founding. But now, in an attempt to attract a younger crowd, they are changing the name to St. Mike's. Are you kidding me? St. Mike? How far are you going to go with this change? I mean, are you going to refer to all the characters in the Bible by their nicknames? Will Jesus and the disciples be referred to as J.C. and his posse? Will communion be served by baristas? I mean, this is going too far. And personally, I worry about St. Michael up in heaven being teased by all the other saints. Hey, St. Mike! <laughs> nice church! <laughs> TV in Iran must be a lot of fun to watch, especially since their new censorship laws went into effect. Tehran has recently imposed new rules that ban the showing of women eating pizza on TV. They also cannot wear leather gloves or drink any red-colored beverages. Even eating sandwiches made the list of banned television activities for women. In this country, Domino's Pizza has said that if they won't show women eating pizza on TV, they will no longer deliver there anymore. Of course, they, they never did deliver there, but they're making a statement. Power to the pepperoni. <laughs> With Thanksgiving in the offing, the folks at Butterball Turkey said there may be a shortage of small turkeys this year. With the pandemic still a hindrance to big family dinners, smaller turkeys are being sought for smaller groups, and they are selling out fast. If you can't get a small turkey this year, I suggest you get a big chicken. It's almost the same, and if you add some stovetop stuffing, no one will notice the difference, especially if you ply them with liquor beforehand. If you still want a big turkey, they are in plentiful supply and mostly found on Capitol Hill. <laughs> hey, my friends, that's it for another week. Thanks for joining me here on The Funnies. Please, please share these with all of your friends, your neighbors, your family, anybody you can think of, because we want to make more people laugh. That being said, I'll see you next Friday. <laughs>